Hey, I'm Gev, this is my show, and this is my computer. I built it into the desk. If you're curious on how I did that, watch the last video. Today we're gonna to be upgrading some of these things. These are hard drive mounts. RAM heat sinks, because my RAM doesn't have any. Got an NVMe SSD. And I got a power button. I ordered this one first. But as you can see, it's not a momentary switch. That was a mistake. So then I got this one, which is a momentary switch. No label though, sadly. Um, a lot of wires. Not quite sure how I'm gonna wire this up just yet, but I'll figure that out off camera. First thing I gotta do is take off the glass and then uh, get to work. Correction, first thing I gotta do is turn the computer off. Got some Velcro stuck over here. I put Velcro in between here so you can't see the gap. There's that light back there. That's these are what I'm going with. They're gonna sit like so. And then another one on top. I wonder if I could stack three high out of curiosity. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll work. That'll fit. But I don't have enough to stack three high. So the way these work, the hard drive sits in there like so. And if you have a two and a half, you can fit them there. I could probably show you that. I have a two and a half somewhere around here. Here's a two and a half. Two and a half would sit like so. And then you could plop another one up top like so. And have two two and a halves on top of each other. Now if you want to order one of these kits, I'll put a link down below. But um, the kit looks like it could mount two hard drives, but it can't. Each kit can only mount one hard drive. Oh, it's a little tighter now. Okay, got the hard drive done. Next thing is gonna be the RAM and the M.2. Now the M.2 goes under the graphics card, so that needs to come out anyways. I'm just gonna disconnect from the back my display port and my HDMI. That's done. Move these out of the way so I can Unplug that. Yeah, my graphics card isn't mounted. I know. It's the power. There's the card. Literally sitting on a piece of cardboard. It works. There we go. That is my GTX 970. And that's the back of it. Boom. Fantastic. Not even dirty. Love this card. Don't know where to put it. All right, so I'm gonna remove my RAM to put these heat sinks on. And then I'm just gonna install the M.2 real quick, all in the same shot. So what you do is you lower these. Pretty much in almost every, every motherboard, they want you to, if you're only using two RAM sticks, they want you to put it in the furthest away slot. So like in my case, red and red. 
that's my RAM. It is, if you're curious, there you go. It is TimeTech DDR4 3600, 16 gigs, 16 gig modules. So next I'm gonna install my M.2 right there. So all you do is you line up the notches, put it in at a slight angle, just like with sewed in, and just let it drop. Now I got the screw for it right here. Mine came with my motherboard. Sometimes they'll come with the uh, M.2 itself. There's a little riser right here. I removed that, put it over here because my M.2 isn't that long. And then I'm just going to screw the little screw in. It's a really small screw. That's not going anywhere. Okay, time for the RAM. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our heat sinks and we're literally just going to place this like so, making sure everything's touching that needs to be touching. Cool. And then we grab the other side of it. Is this the other side? Yes, it is. There's a little notch on the side. You grab that notch. There's a little notch on this side as well. You grab that notch. You give it a squeeze. And then you lower these notches on the sides a little bit somehow. I mean, that's not going anywhere. That's, that's pretty stuck on there. Yep, that's on there. So that's one. I'm happy with that. Now we're going to install the RAM. Same place we took it out of. Just grab the notch, get the notches going, and is my notch in the right place? Yeah. Press down firmly. Same with that. The notch isn't in the right place. This one's not on there that secure. There we go. Boom, boom, and push. And that's the RAM. Got the RAM. Got the NVMe, got the hard drives. Last thing left is the button that I don't know how I'm gonna wire up just yet. A few moments later. All right, I got the power button installed. You can see it here. I routed it all the way back to there. It works perfectly. The light stays on. That's how I wanted it to be because it's hard to see. <clears throat> so I want the light to stay on so you can see what the, where the power button is. Now I need to grab my piece of trusty cardboard again. <clears throat> Place that down. like so okay and now we grab our graphics card <laughs> grab our graphics card plug that in like so boom and then we just gently Bring it down, gently, gently. And I just got a bunch of wood shavings on my motherboard, wonderful.
Don't know where that went, but that's fine. Got a washer. Now that'll hold it. See, I am mounting my graphics card. Still leaving the piece of cardboard though. Come on, boom, one, two. I didn't hear a snap on that, there we go. Graphics cards installed. These wires are for USB 3. Those need to go under here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this has been hanging for a while. That's fine. Let's plug this back in. Okay. Turn these down. Boom. That's fine. That's fine. These are in place. Uh-huh. M.2 is in place. All right. The moment of truth. Time to fully turn it on. See if it boots up perfectly. Got to turn, turn this on. Okay. So far, so good. Why do I have no signal? There we are. I'm gonna go screw the glass back in that I took off because it's 3 a.m. and I still haven't screwed that in. Thanks for watching. I'm Gev, this was my show. I'm gonna leave you with a random animal video. I don't know which one I've chosen this week.